So, um, <coughs> first thing you want to do is download the Eclipse 7.3.7 uh, here, and that's the classic version. And I'm using 32 bit, so I'm going to download this one. Alright, so while that's going, uh, I'll switch over to the uh, developer android.com site and do uh, download the SDK for Linux, which this is the one you want for Ubuntu. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And that's downloading, so we'll be back once everything completes downloads. Alright, now that both the uh, Android SDK is and Eclipse are downloaded, it's time to extract them. So we'll start with Eclipse. Here's Eclipse. Android. Alright, so now we have the basic components to get the SDK working. So next thing is to get the ADT working or plugin set up. So go to Eclipse. And I'm following on a developer android.com uh, website. That will be included in the notes with the video. So go help. Install new software. And we're gonna add and for the name is the plugin. Here's 
the address. So now it's connecting. Okay, now here's all the development tools that we have available. finish and this will take a little while so I'll be back in a minute or two All right here's a warning that I got and it says that it's on sign code so it's, this is a development environment uh, that's kind of expected so I'm going to continue Okay, looks like we're done, so I'll restart Eclipse. So now it's going to want to install the new SDK, which this is where it's located. Sure. So now we want to accept and install some APIs. And I think this is going to take a while as well. So I'm going to pause it right here. Alright, so now that all of the APIs are downloaded, we can actually see that we have an Android SDK manager, so let's see if we can uh, get something running. So, uh, first thing you gotta do is create a virtual device manager. So, I'm just gonna do a basic uh, test. Uh, it's based off Android 4.03, which is API level 15. Leave everything as defaults and let's create it. Oh, looks like that's not going to work. I think we're still missing some um, plugins, so let's go in here. Windows, Android. So uh, before starting that up, I'm going to go ahead and update the uh, some of the tools. Yeah, well, why not? So I'm not going to download anything from prior, and I also like the extra. So let's see what we got here. Do that. That and 
and stuff. Shift that. Okay. So again, that's gonna take some time, so we'll be back. All right, now that the update's been installed, let's see if we can uh, launch the simulator. So let's see, Windows, Android SDK Manager. Oh, wait, wrong thing. So we want, there we go. And here's our test. So it's set on basic defaults, nothing fancy. And start. All right, let's launch it. And there it is. We have our Android uh, simulator running. So looks like everything is working well so I think it's now it's just ready to start your first application